fantasy is preoperatively uh, one of the big things we talk about our expectations following surgery. The other big education piece is maintaining their level of function and activity as much as they can prior to surgery. Doing something that isn't going to aggravate them too much but keeping up the mobility is essential. In terms of specific exercises, it's going to be really based on the individual. Each person is provided with a program that they can be completing at home as well too because that's where things really happen is being consistent with it. So the first six weeks are sort of getting over having the surgery. I say by 12 weeks or three months, they tend to be doing pretty much the things that they enjoy doing. By six months, they're feeling pretty good and forgetting about their, their procedure and by a year, you know, recovery is, is happening. So the shuttle is a piece of equipment that we typically use following uh, total hip surgery. A couple of things can be accomplished on the shuttle. One is we can work on just range of motion. So as our individual moves through that range with light weight on it, they're working on some hip flexibility as well as flexibility down the rest of the uh, lower chain. By changing the resistance and also changing whether someone's using two legs or one leg, then we can also uh, focus more on strength or endurance. So I mean, again, the bike is a piece of equipment that we would generally get people on. Again, working on range of motion, but also looking at um, recovery of cardiovascular fitness. Uh, and the nice thing too is you can position the seat uh, either closer or further away to accommodate for any restrictions that they may have with their mobility and we can also adjust the tension, so it can be just a very easy exercise to work on range, help control pain, or we can dial up the tension a bit to make it more on a strength or endurance or more a cardiovascular taxing activity. I think the best thing is seeing how we can help them return to the things that they want to return to. Recently I had a phone call from a gentleman who had just returned from whitewater kayaking at West after his hip replacement and you know just to thank me for helping him be able to do those things that he loved to do again the people who are excited because they can now walk on uneven grass to go see their kids play or their grandkids play soccer um, so i think the best thing is seeing people at the end and doing the things that they love to do as i always say to them they had this surgery for a reason what was it so i identify that on day one and then being able to see months later that they've achieved those goals is always special.